Hi guys, Phil the Genetech here, introducing my new Let's Play. Let's play The Da Vinci Code. Uh, this is... Okay, I had to wait until after I recorded the entire uh, Let's Play to do this to make sure I wouldn't get any spoilers. This is going to be a blind Let's Play. By the time you guys see this intro, it will be completely recorded and ready to go up. Okay, this game is copyright... 2006 by Take Two Games, Sony Entertainment, The Collective, and Columbia Pictures. The book, uh, first of all, the yeah, the book, uh, The Da Vinci Code, is copyright 2003. I'm not sure if the copyright goes to Dan Brown, who is the author, or Doubleday Group, who is the United States publisher. Uh, there was also a Random House Special Edition published in 2004. So I'm um, hoping I've got everything there in order. Uh, one thing is is that uh, this book caused a lot of controversy. Uh, now that it's kind of died down a bit, I looked it up and basically the controversy was that uh, the author claimed that a lot of the stuff in here was non-fiction and it's a fiction book and story uh, it's kind of in the same vein as National Treasure as Indiana Jones uh, the old-fashioned treasure hunter adventurer type story uh, and yes it is fiction it has uh, a couple of inaccuracies and that's what caused the big controversy really uh, so, yeah, uh, what you feel those inaccuracies are is up to you, but basically it's just a fiction story and a game, so I've, I'm pretty relaxed about it for the whole Let's Play, really, so, okay, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, this will be in short videos between 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, I think that's all I had to say. Um, oh, it's uh, technically classified as an adventure game. You know, like the old point-and-click Sierras. Uh, really has kind of an advent er, survival horror feel, but that's because, I guess, survival horror games have a lot of the old point-and-click adventure feel to them. So, yeah, that about covers it. It's a game I enjoyed. I highly recommend playing it. Uh, if you do intend to play it, then stop watching right now, because watching someone else play it will spoil all of the puzzles for you, and that's a major aspect of the game is puzzle solving. So, as far as spoilers go and handling that, uh, People are going, or in the comment section, I expect people to comment about stuff that's happened on the actual video for those comments. So if it happens in that video, sorry guys, it's not really a spoiler. Second, if it's in a past video on the set, it's already happened, it's not really a spoiler. If it happens, if it's something that hasn't happened yet, yeah, that's a spoiler. Uh, so, yeah, that's future warning of what I consider to be spoilers. Next is, first of all, like I said, I've already played through the whole game, so you guys aren't going to spoil anything for me, but don't spoil things for other viewers. It's just rude. Next, uh, if you don't want to find out something that happens in that video, uh, don't look at the comment section until after you're done watching the video. Uh, yeah, people are going to be talking about the video in there, so... If you don't want that ruined, don't read the comments until after you're done watching the video. Okay, that covers everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, enjoy!